So, and then case 10 is a splint bone fracture. And this was a horse that was kicked youngster, uh, sorry, 10 year old, was kicked by a pasture mate. And you can do surgery, but the higher this is on the leg, the more difficult surgery becomes. So they opted not to have surgery and want to do the shockwave. And um, what you see is a progression uh, as this is trying to heal um, and in the x-rays. And it, it's, it was very effective. Interestingly enough, in the splints, you can actually, that, some, that wound sometimes can become infected. And initially, we wouldn't use shockwave on an infected wound, but what we've actually found is it actually breaks down the biofilm of the infection, helps treat the infection as well as treating the bone. And so the bone heals even though there's pus coming out from the infection, and then the infection starts healing up on its own with a little bit of antibiotic therapy. We never did have to do surgery on that one and it healed very nicely.